So, are you ready to get started with your new CanLogger X1000? In this guide, we'll take you step by step from unboxing to data insights. Key topics in this video include testing your can logger out of the box, configuring the logger via Canvas, converting your raw CAN bus data in Canvas, and finally, streaming real-time CAN data via Canvas and Wireshark. Ready? Then let's go. First of all, let's start with step one, connecting the can logger. The can logger X1000 is ready to log data out of the box. With auto bitrate detection, you can just connect the logger to your CAN bus application, for example, a car, truck, or production line. The logger uses a DB9 connector, so you may need an adapter cable. For example, in a car, you would need a DB9 to OBD2 adapter. On our website, we offer adapters for OBD2, J1939, and generic use. You can, of course, also choose another adapter. Just make sure the pin out matches the CAN logger X1000. When you connect the CanLogger X1000 to the CAN bus, you'll see the status via the three LEDs. These will tell you when the logger is powered on, when the CAN bus is active, and when it's writing data to the SD card. If the logger successfully auto-detects the bitrate, it will now be logging CAN bus data to the SD card. Now, let's check out the data. After a few minutes of logging, disconnect the logger and connect it to your PC via USB. The logger will now show up as an external drive. Open it and transfer your log file. All right, you have now logged your first raw CAN bus data file. But what if you didn't get any data? Let's list our top three reasons. Number one, custom adapter cable. Are you using an adapter cable not bought via us? Check if the pen out is correct and check the physical wiring. The CAN L slash CAN H wires must be connected correctly to the respective pins of the DB9. Number two, non-standard bitrate. The logger auto-detects standard bitrates. However, if the bitrate is inaccurate or non-standard, it must be set manually. Number three, no data broadcasted. In some cases, the application does not broadcast high-speed CAN data. To check if this is the case, try logging data via an alternative device or test the CanLogger X1000 in a different application, for example in a car. Step 2. Configuring your CanLogger in Canvas First of all, our free software Canvas is a must-have. With this, you're able to configure your logger, stream real-time data, and convert your log data. Once you've tested that you can log data, it's time to configure your logger download Canvas, open it, and click Configure Can Logger. Here, you've got a lot of options. Let's highlight a few key ones. File Split Limit lets you cap the size of log files at a specific number of megabytes. Cyclic Logging deletes the oldest files first when the SD card is full. Adjust Real-Time Clock lets you change the real-time clock to your time zone. Further, if you've got a Can Logger 3000, You'll definitely want to configure Wi-Fi and potentially the FTP push settings. Check our guide sections for details on these. Step 3. Converting your data Now you've logged some raw CAN bus log files. How do you interpret them? To do so, you need a set of conversion rules. In example, for a specific CAN ID, you'll need to know what part of the 8 data bytes to read and how this should be scaled and offset. For more on this, check our simple intros to CAN bus, OBD2, and J1939. In Canvas, you can easily enter your conversion rules or load a DBC file. After this, simply load your raw log files and hit convert. You now have human-readable data, ready to analyze. For more on conversion options, check out our intro articles. Scale, merge, and downsample your data. Reformat your data for CAN Analyzer or PCAN View Tools. Easily convert OBD2 data with our built in database. Auto convert CAN bus data via scheduled tasks. Step 4 Stream CAN bus data in Wireshark. The CAN Logger X1000 is not just a CAN logger. You can also use it as an interface to stream real time data to your PC via USB. To do so, we leverage the popular Wireshark platform as user interface. To get started, go through the following steps. Download the latest Wireshark and install it. During installation, make sure to install Wireshark 1 as well. Next, make sure you have the latest USB drivers installed. Finally, download our plugin and copy it to your Wireshark plugins folder. 
Once done, connect the logger to your CAN bus and then to your PC via USB. You can now open up Canvas and go to Live Stream Data. Here, click the Connect CAN Logger and hit Start. You will now be streaming data in Wireshark, ready for analysis. You should now be ready to use the CAN Logger X1000. For more tips, check our Guides section, Product Manual, or subscribe to our newsletter.